Hey everyone. Okay, so my mom and I, we went to the uh, Road to California uh, quilt show a uh, week and a half ago. And uh, the 19th, I think, 19th, 20th, or 1819 is when we went. And we only went for one day. But when we were up there, we went to Road to California, which will be the next video, what I bought from Road to California. Then, uh, but we went to m &L Fabrics, which is in Anaheim, California. And so we drove down over there after the show so let me show you that's going to be this hall this is going to be the uh, um, m l fabrics hall so i'm going to scoot you in this is such a mint it is a mint um just it's a beautiful fabric a 398 a yard and then i you know how much i love panels i have to have my panels and uh this was one i found so Little bumblebee gnomes. I'm like, uh, yes, please. Put it here and here. Whoop. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, you guys, so darn cute. And the mushrooms, and the little gnome. So we came back on the 19th and I immediately went to have surgery on my knee because I tore my meniscus. So I have not been around you guys, so sorry about that. I have been laid up. Okay, so I bought another panel. This one is huge. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scoot you guys out because this is really, really, really big. So it's like diamond painting big. <laughs> So it's scarecrows with the crow in the side, and then we have, they're on a fence. So they're on a fence, and oh look at the bat. So the pumpkin is a silhouette of the bat, and then you have a jack-o'-lantern, the owl. Oh my gosh, you guys, so cute. So all the crows are on the fence, and then it's the jack-o'-lanterns that are cute. Oh, this is so, it's huge though. It really is so big. So that's going to, that's going to be a big one. And then I think I already have this one, but if I do, it's okay. Cause I'll donate it to the guild, uh, to our, my local guild that I'm a part of. My mom and I are part of that guild, but I, I wasn't sure. And I loved it so much. Just the crow and the mirror. Oh, I just, and then the wax candles. This reminds me, if you're a paper crafter, this reminds me of Tim Holtz, his candles that everyone was making there for a while. I never got into making them and I really wanted to, but I just hadn't yet. <laughs> just not enough time in everyone's day, right? So this is candelabra. I'm pretty sure I have this one, but I'm not, you know, I say that, but I'm, I'm not sure. So I can say I'm pretty sure all I want, but I'm not sure. Okay, so this is uh, pumpkin jack-o'-lanterns. And you have the white ones and the black ones and uh, orange, yellowish ones. So cute. I love it. And then this one was adorable. So the Halloween was 50% off, which was perfect. So I think it was still like $6 though, $6 a yard. So it was a little bit spendy still. And this one is so cute. So I have made two quilts in January. So I'm, well, I'm still in the process of finishing. I have to do the backing on one of them. And then I have to do, um, finish the a top of another one. But I, I should be done with that one pretty soon. Um, my husband is helping me set up so I can, um, because I have crutches, so, and I can't stand on my leg for six weeks. I'm a flamingo for six weeks, so that should be fun. Um, it's been fun, and, uh, yeah, oh, it, it hasn't been fun, you guys. So, this is a really nice, uh, glittery, like, pretty one. So, my goal is to quilt as much as I can, and so I have been enjoying that so much, and diamond painting, and you know, so I'm, I'm enjoying that. Um, I made a quilt and I, uh, I improvised it. I added my own little gnome Halloween uh, appliques, but this fabric right here was 50% off and it's going to go perfect on the back of the Halloween quilt I made. So, um, yeah, eventually I'll do a, a walkthrough of what I bought or I mean what I bought, what I made. Um, I'm hoping to do a, um, 2023 quilts I made, um, tour, you know, or, um finish maybe it's called a finish i'm not sure my friend is a dallas cowboys uh, fan so i wanted to um 
I don't make purses, but part one of the guild ladies, she makes purses <laughs> and she only charges $10. So I'm like, okay, I'll, you just gave her the fabric. So I'm like, I can do that. I, $10 is so crazy that I'm like, here, here's 12 because <laughs> that's just crazy. And um, so, yeah, so I'm, I want to make her cowgirls, cowboys, but a girl uh, color, you know, pink. So, yeah. And then uh, this one is the bumblebee. I'm pretty sure I have some of this, but I'm, but again, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not sure. <laughs> so that's just, yeah, that's just how I talk. Oh gosh, you guys, such a dork. But yeah, they're ignored or laugh or I don't know, or change the channel, <laughs> one or the other. I'm not sure. Oh, look at this matches perfectly and they don't even go together. Oh, I love that, you guys. I just noticed that the background right here is exactly the same as this. That is awesome. What a good find because that that's different, right? You know, than, than the traditional, um, than the traditional black and yellow bumblebees. Oh, I'm loving that. Do you guys see that? Let me scoot you in further. Let me. What a happy accident. Do you guys see what I mean? Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that great? It's right there in the background. Oh, cool. I like that a lot. Ooh, cool. And these were $3.98 a yard, so I got some of these. They're little wands. I'm an 80s girl. I love rainbows. I love a rainbow everything. But I'm I'm an 80s girl, so that's, you know, we grew up with the, with the rainbow, you know, rainbow bright, you know, the rainbow is a rainbow and just I love it I just love it so little ice cream sprinkles could be donut sprinkles whatever sprinkle you want it to be so yeah this was Lori Holt's farm vintage I love that one too and then Look at how cute this one was. I only meant to get a yard. I think I ended up getting like three yards. So I'm like, oh, okay, I need to, I guess, make a quilt out of this one because I got a lot of material. <laughs> so yeah, but I loved it. So like I said, 80s girl, you know, the gumball machines were, you know, you always ask your parents for that, you know, the quarter, I think it was five cents at the time. <laughs> So, and then they had this Halloween one that I absolutely adored. Oh, let me scoot you back out. There we go. So, love this one. This is so cool. It's, it's so, like, just perfect. The red coffin. It just, oh, love it, you guys. And then they had the Lori Holt. This one, I, I just, I, well, I love all of them, right? And everything I bought was with a purpose. So with, with something in mind, not just to hoard it, not just to hoard. I don't like hoarding or, you know, I don't like holding on, you know, basically hoarding. I don't like hoarding. I like using my stuff. I like cutting my fabric. I like using it. I like seeing it in a quilt. So, but everything I got was with pretty much a purpose and a lot of it too is like, okay, if I want to experiment with doing a heart quilt, I have the background and I can do white hearts, you know? So I got three yards pretty much of everything because that gives you a little bit more leeway when it comes to quilting to have three yards and backing is usually five yards. So I'll tell you what, if that M&L place was near me, oh, there would be trouble though. That would probably be hoarding just a hoard because, you know, once it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so luckily it's so far away from me. And then this one I loved for like Halloween. Oh, is, is that bats? Are there bats in there or is it just my imagination? Does it not look like bats in there? I don't know. For some reason this, this little design right here looks like bats, but I don't think it is. I think it's just an optical illusion. Yeah, but I loved it for Halloween for a background. And, um, yeah, so, like I said, everything was for a purpose. I have a quilt that I want to make that is, um, it's, it's actually note paper. It's a note paper quilt, and I just loved it so much. So, this would be a great background for it. Or, um, they actually have, um, a pencil quilt that I also want to make. And so, this would be a great background for that, too. So, <laughs> 
And then this one, I love this one. This reminded me of, of mixed media. Uh, mixed media like, um, uh, what is her name? Well, Tim Holtz is one, but um, her name is... Uh, I can't think of it. But she she lives like in Scotland or something like that. But either way, this has reminded me of her and uh, I thought this would be a great background for something. I don't have necessarily... I knew that I wanted it for maybe the steampunk um, plant panels that I have. Because I have quite a few... Uh, Finnebear. Finnebear, there we go. And uh, uh, quite a few steampunk um, uh, panels. So that might be good for that one. Tickets. I love tickets. I love getting paper tickets for everything. So this one I loved and will probably use it as a background. So... And then just a few more, and I got pink because you can always use pink. There's a uh, Mickey head that I'm going to be doing um, also. I have a I have a whole binder full of what I want to do uh, this year, and so I'm hoping to get it all, you know, uh, get it at least cut and started because our because my mom and I we joined um, her her local quilt guild, and um, she uh, they're having more classes and they're going to be having more retreats. And so we're setting ourselves up for that kind of, you know, to go out and have fun and do those kind of things. So uh, I got the dinosaurs last time. Remember, I'm going to make myself a dinosaur quilt. I'm going to make me a dinosaur quilt because I love dinosaurs. And then I love Lori Holt, but I absolutely adore this, this uh, fabric. So I want to do it as a background because I am... I am a total like vintage, which you know now is called vintage, right? But I'm only 49. But this is the stuff we grew up with, you know, playing school and you know playing house and doing all that fun things, you know, doing the checkouts, the receipts, and all that stuff. And so this makes my you know 80s girl heart just so happy. So when I saw that, I was like, it's going to be a background for something. This one it also says uh, Trinosaurus tops, uh, Trinosaur Trinosaurus rex, uh, the Bronchis. Bronchosaurus, bron Bronchosaurus, something like that. Oh, I can't get my teeth to go wrap around my big old tongue. <laughs> and then this one was so cute. It says vintage quilts, and it's just like a carnival theme, but it has um, quilting. Uh, let me scooch in. It has quilting theme to it, so I thought that was adorable. So it says welcome to the quilt fair, and it's just so cute. And look at she's got her her quilt that she won a ribbon for. So it's like the carnival and stuff, vintage quilts, and she's got a sewing machine and a whole stack of quilts. Love it. So I had to get this one too. So that was our haul from M&L, and I did really, really good, you guys. So all of that, and I'll tell you how much I spent. I got all of that, and all of it was pretty much three yards. Only a couple were one yards, but most of it was three yards, and I only spent like $434. So that place is scary. That place is really, really scary. So, <laughs> all right, guys, take care. We'll see y'all later. Bye.